Hi, I'm Preston DeGuys, and in this video, I'm going to show you how simple it is to deploy Data Protection Central, or DPC. Now, DPC is Dell Technologies' centralized monitoring and daily management dashboard for Dell data protection software. It gives you instant visibility of the health and operation of your data protection environment. If you're using Networker, Avamar, or PowerProtect Data Manager, you should definitely download and install DPC, especially since it's free. So let's get started. At this point, I've already downloaded the OVA from support.dell.com and I've got my IP address details created in DNS, so I'm ready to deploy the template. After you've browsed to and selected the template, you'll be prompted for the virtual machine name. Choose where in the VMware environment you want to deploy the template. When you click Next, the deployment wizard will verify the template before it proceeds to the next step. You can review the virtual appliance details here before continuing. Note that if you choose to thinly provision the appliance, it's not going to need very much initial storage. You'll need to choose what data store you want to deploy the virtual appliance onto and whether you thickly or thinly provision the storage. Since I'm in a lab environment, I'm going to thinly provision the storage. In the template customization, you have to supply the IP address, default gateway, netmask, DNS and time server details. You also need to supply the DPC hostname and confirm the time zone. You'll be prompted for the passwords for the environment. This includes the option to specify LDAP or Active Directory integration as part of the deployment. I'm not going to integrate with LDAP or Active Directory in my lab, so I'll just fill in the other details I mentioned and continue. Finally, verify all the details you provided and click Finish to start the deployment. Depending on your environment and network, the deployment can take a few minutes to complete. When the deployment is complete, you can boot the virtual appliance. The first boot will take a few minutes to complete, but after it's done, you can point your web browser at the DPC hostname to start adding systems to the dashboard. Thanks for watching this video and be sure to check out the blog for more information.